What's up guys, Lassie Jerb here and welcome back for some more One Piece World Seeker and in today's video I am going to guide you on how to achieve all of trophies for the Zoro DLC. There is a total of 6 trophies that you can achieve and this video will guide you on how to achieve those. Alright, let's start with the first achievement. This will come naturally after you completed the DLC story. The trophy is called Return and all you have to do to achieve this is just to complete the main story of Zoro and that's basically it. Next one is Enthused Warrior and in order to achieve this is you have to learn all of Zoro's skills including the serious mode skill which will appear later on chapter 5 when you face with Fujitora and in order to purchase a skill you need skill points and in order to get skill points you can get that by defeating enemies completing missions and challenges honestly I just use cheat engine on this one because ain't nobody got time for that <laughs> uh, next one is relentless to achieve this you have you just basically have to aim while attacking and you need to use this 25 times someone told me that using a skill while aim while aiming also counts as relentless mode and I did just that because I just one hit everyone with a skill so my suggestion is yes to aim while using a skill next is serious battle this is very simple, you just need to use serious mode 10 times. Even if you just have one dot of full gauge, you can activate serious mode with that and that will count. Next one is challenger. Just what it says, just complete those three challenges. You just, you don't need to go serious on that, just complete it very simple, you know. There are currently three challenges on the Zoro TLC. There's one in Ruby Village, and the other two are located inside the secret factory. All three challenges are very easy, like I said, you don't need to go all out on each challenges because the last trophy will depend on how you do with these challenges. So for the last trophy, is called Master, and it says here that complete a challenge mission with the highest grade with Zoro. What it means is you just need to break at least one record in any of the challenges. A challenge of your choice as long as you have already completed those challenges because you just need to break the previous record. My suggestion here is to do the challenge at Ruby Village and another optional suggestion is to turn down the difficulty for a faster achievement. So the challenge at Ruby Village is you just need to collect 20 sailor buttons and you can pretty much can collect as many as you can but the required is just 20. So when you do this challenge for the first time, don't go all out. Just collect at least 20 or 25 sailor buttons and just get out of there and let the time run out. And that will be your first record. After that, retake the challenge and this time make sure that you will collect as many as you can. You can officially go all out now, you know. I for one collected at least 80 sailor buttons just to make sure, just to make sure, you know. And after the challenge, you just achieve the master trophy and all of the DLC trophies and that's basically it. Very easy and very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this vid, and if you do, please do leave a like, and as always, I will see you guys on the next one. Ciao.